Channel 4 accused of tearing down the boundaries of decency. The government considers tougher controls after a controversial satire on paedophiles. Violence breaks out at Jerusalem's most sensitive religious site. And the German Grand Prix gets off to a flying start. Good evening. The government has launched an outspoken attack on Channel 4 for broadcasting a spoof investigation into paedophilia. The Home Secretary and the Culture Secretary have both condemned the Brass Eye programme. Another minister described it as unspeakably sick. Channel 4 says the show, some of which is included in our report, was a parody on the way the media have sensationalised the issue. Here's Daniel Bircher. These are our children. Channel 4 is sticking by its programme. Critics say the broadcaster has overstepped the mark. The show satirised media coverage of paedophilia. High-profile celebrities were duped into fronting anti-paedophile campaigns. The show has already been attacked by children's charities. Now it's run into a political storm. They've made paedophilia, if you like, a subject of entertainment, uh, as opposed to making it clear that it's a very serious crime. And I do think that this was a programme that was deeply upsetting for victims and families. The Culture Secretary Tessa Jowell is to register her concerns with the Independent Television Commission and Channel 4 tomorrow. The broadcaster says the programme's presenter was aiming to make a serious point through savage satire. Chris Morris was not making light of paedophilia. His target was the dangerous sensationalism and exploitation that can characterise media coverage of the issue. The station claims that some of the reaction to the show only underlines the validity of the point it was making. Channel 4 says it's part of its remit to ask hard questions about the way society and the media deal with difficult problems. It will itself now have to answer questions from the Independent Television Commission about the way this programme was produced. Daniel Bircher, BBC News, at the offices of Channel 4. Well, our media correspondent, Torin Douglas, is at the Independent Television Commission. Uh, Torin, what will the ITC consider in this investigation they're carrying out? Well, there were two sorts of complaints. One about taste and decency and whether the broadcast itself offended against taste and decency. The other was about the use of children in the making of the programme and whether there was proper protection for those children when it was made. It is worth pointing out that just because there's an awful lot of complaints doesn't mean they'll be upheld. The two biggest uh, uh, programmes that have been complained about in the past, uh, The Last Temptation of Christ, the film, uh, and uh, Queer as Folk, they all had several hundred complaints, but they weren't upheld. Uh, ministers, though, are clearly angry about it. What can they do? Well, not a great deal, but the whole point is that government uh, uh, is separated from programme making. That's why you have the regulators. And indeed, the regulators have had their powers weakened in recent years. Uh, for the last ten years, they've not been allowed to preview programmes and stop them going out in advance. And at the moment, the plan is for the government to weaken that control even further. They want a lighter touch regulation when they bring their Communications Act in uh, later uh, in, the, in this parliament. So at the moment, the whole movement is the other way. Lauren Douglas, thank you very much.